Hi folks, welcome to a beautiful day at the Horde here. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. I love the sun blasting in, it feels great. I wanted to finish up the uh, third in the series of videos on this um, China Quad Ignition. What I have here is a Cas... Casali, Casoli, Casoli um, CDI unit. See, it says Casoli Moto. Um, these come off of eBay. You get the CDI unit. You get the match coil. About twenty-five bucks. This is the twelve volt DC version of it. I um, had some trouble with it because all my batteries appear to be weak. So I've decided to run it directly right on the um, 12 volts for my pack. And I'll turn that on in a second. If you buy one of these um, straight from eBay, what you'll find is there's a plug on it. I want to use this one in the TRX250 or the TRX300EX. So given that I want to do that, I cut the plug off, um, extended the wire, so soldered longer wires to them, um, put shrink tubing on them, and you know, you guys could see I have it all covered up. So here's all the extra wire I put on it. Just from a wire color point of view, you have black is for the off switch. I do not have that hooked to anything right now. Red is 12 volts DC and I'm gonna hook that here in a moment um, yellow goes out to the coil and you could see it right there that's the spark coil green goes to the other side of the spark coil I'm also considering that ground so I have green going to um, the spark coil and then I have green going to body ground and I got the black wire which is theoretically positive I already have it going to ground but I just ran the wire there just for completeness and then the last green wire here goes to green on the harness and then I got the blue and white goes into the white which hooks up right there right and that's from your pulse generator so supposedly all I need to do is take this and hook it to my positive and that thing will be fired up and then I just have to touch this to the starter and supposedly we'll be ready to fire this bike up So there we are. You guys could see it obviously starts and it runs. And if I put it on the ground, it'd be moving. Um, I do not have one of these Casolis on a bike right now. Um, but my buddy uh, William Statton uses them all the time and particularly has them on 400 EXs, and he's having really, really good luck with, uh, with those. As a matter of fact, go check out uh, Build's videos. Right now he's doing a lot of electronic stuff, um, building amplifiers and fixing um, realistic um, AM, FM receivers. But he's also building a side-by-side, -side, and he's done a good job on that. There's a whole series of videos he's got out there, so you guys should go check him out. He's putting a 300 EX motor on it, and I'm pretty sure he's going to use one of these guys on there. I don't think he's going to stick with the OEM ignition. I think he's going to go with one of the Casolis. Um, 
So that's it. Folks, if you have any questions, I've just shown you there are basically three ways around your hack ignition system. Your first way is the pit bike. I showed you that in an earlier video. The second way is um, I showed you guys the little box I built with the onboard 12 volts. And now I've showed you the independent box, so to speak. The Casoli box here, the independent guy. So three ways you could get sparks. Once again, the Casoli box with the matching um, spark coil. They're about um, they're about twenty five bucks. Be careful though. Make sure you get the twelve volt DC one. If you get the AC one, you got to run it off of here, and then you got to make sure your stator is good, and on and on and on. I prefer to go with the 12 volt version and run it off of that. How much power do these things use? They use somewhere around um, between uh, 50 milliamps, just to if the thing's not running, and if you are running it, it could use as much as uh, a half an amp. Um, so they they do they do draw as if especially if you're really pushing it they they do draw some some power so um, you gotta allow for that as as you're building things right you um, from the video videos I showed you you kind of have a 12 volt system and then you have the ignition system by hooking this thing up to your 12 volt system that kind of means you either have to dig up 12 volts outside or you have to um, allow whatever electrical system you build to have a 12 volt uh, charging circuit on it so that you can keep that thing up to par all right folks once again if there are questions please ask I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.